U.S. debt ceiling. Kevin McCarthy and Joe Biden try to end the deadlock. President Joe Biden and leading Republican Kevin McCarthy have had a phone conversation, signaling a shift in the impasse on raising the U.S. debt ceiling. As he returned to the White House from the G7 conference in Japan, Mr. Biden told reporters that the call went well and that he and Mr. Obama would speak again on Monday. The Republican demand for budget cutbacks as a prerequisite for lifting the ceiling continues to be a point of contention between the two parties. If this isn't done by June, the U.S. may default on its debt. The federal government could not take out new loans or cover all its obligations in such a case. On June 1, a default might start, according to the Treasury Department's warning. Such a result would destabilize the financial system and result in additional increases in interest rates. The Republican-controlled House of Representatives ideas, Mr. Biden told reporters as he departed Japan on Sunday, were, simply, quite frankly, unacceptable. Republicans need to accept that there can be no bipartisan agreement reached solely on their partisan terms, he continued. They also need to relocate. But Mr. Biden also stated that he would be prepared to decrease expenditure to reach an agreement. Negotiators gathered on Capitol Hill on Sunday night for a conference that lasted around two and a half hours. The president's top advisor and one of Vice President Biden's representatives, Steve Ricchetti, assured reporters that the negotiation teams will continue to work into the night. The deadlock has shaken the financial markets. The S&P 500 fell 0.1%, the Nasdaq down 0.2%, and the Dow finished the day down 0.3%. Republicans are asking for $4.5 trillion, 3.61 trillion pounds, in budget cutbacks, including killing out several Mr. Biden's legislative initiatives, in exchange for support for extending the debt ceiling. They are also asking for more money to be spent on the military and border security. The Republican plan has been dubbed, a blueprint to destroy hard-working American families, by the White House, even though it has hinted that it may make some financial adjustments. The left and right sectors of their respective parties are putting pressure on President Biden and Mr. McCarthy to stay the line. An agreement has so far been difficult to reach with Republicans holding a slim majority in the House and a one-seat Democratic majority in the Senate.